the authorities vote, you should too. I guess. I mean, maybe I'm not sure I should be saying that. I feel like I should vote. Maybe that's what I should say. Okay, so a little civil disobedience is going on here, and the signs that the AG's office wanted to be pushed down are back up. Are, are you Mr. Burns? I am, in fact. A uh, question for you. I'm Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Oh, I'm Dave. I didn't write, reckon it. You, you got a haircut here. Well, uh, you got, years ago, years ago, yeah. You know what? I haven't seen you in a while. Have I we think, met before? Oh, we've met many times. Okay, good. Uh, you're running for executive council? I am running for executive okay, council. Okay, I've got a question for you. Sure. Uh, can you promise the voters that you will vote, if there's a pardon hearing, you will always vote to free uh, or pardon the victimless criminal if such a person comes before your your uh, pardon board well geez i'd have to spend some time thinking about it though but but i think that you know a lot of counselors and, and a lot of people are almost always vote against a pardon because they're afraid of you know some sort of you know um the person being pardoned something happening to the future i mean you know we had that famous case with mitt romney where Hey David, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? See you. You had that uh, guy. I think he was uh, Army Airborne, and you know received a, a Bronze Star. But he was, uh, and, and although there was a victim involved in this, he shot somebody in the eye when he was 18 with a pellet gun or something like that. And you know Romney kind of took the easy way out by by not pardoning him. And I and I thought that that was, um, you know, I thought that that was unfortunate. Uh, the reason that we have a, the pardoning system is because that people are supposed to be able to work towards something and. That's how you know the criminal system works. Um, definitely, for if it is truly a victimless crime, yeah, I mean those are those are the first types of people that you're going to be pardoning, so that you know that whatever that they were convicted for, whether it be drug possession or something like that in the past, you know, it doesn't ruin future opportunities for the rest of their lives because we want everybody to be productive citizens in the future, and we we want people to to better themselves, and that's why we have this legal system where you know the first phase is you you know you go to prison and then you get out of prison and then you you might be on. Um, um, you know, sort of a house arrest or a probation, and then you get off of probation, and ultimately you're you're working towards. And actually, it's a, it's a I don't call it pardon. What do they call it? It's not commutation. Expulsion. Either. Yeah, okay. it's called like expulsion of your, yeah. your record. Yeah. So yeah, and, and then and that's why it's there. Uh, so I, I mean, I definitely believe in it, and I and I definitely think it's unfortunate that some people just you know kind of throw the whole thing out the window and say they'll never do it, but. But I can't. I don't think I can give a blanket statement because somebody's going to find that like one instant, like where because this person's a victimless criminal, but well, he also probably you did know, something I, else. I, th I think. Or... I think probably you know the main one is going to be something like somebody who's caught with like child pornography or something like that. And yeah, well, technically that's got a victim. So well, unless okay. it's just a pure copy and he didn't. Somebody, pay for but it, you know I guess, what I'm so, saying? Like yeah. somebody can say, "Oh, he said you know this, and, and yeah. this is this is what some people call a victimless crime." So is he really saying this? Right, I hate blanket yeah, statements. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll take it even further though, I and mean, I always uh, feel like if, if anything involves taxpayer expense, then it's wrong. I have the position that I take. You won't be able to take that if you're on the executive council, <laughs> but. But uh, if someone comes before you who's got a victim in their past and you know that not pardoning them is going to result in them being in jail at taxpayer expense for another $100,000, are you willing to deny them a pardon uh, and dump that taxpayer expense on the taxpayer? It's, it's, you know, it's, compli it's complicated just using generals, though. I mean, you, you really have to look at specific examples. Actually, there was one recent specific example. And I, I never really have, I don't think I have enough facts to make one decision or the other, but it, was, it, it involved a, um, a, a corrections officer who was allowed to be a corrections officer with his past criminal record, which was, you know, some sort of burglary type, type conviction of when he was, you know, very young, I think 18 years old or so. And, and uh, that was, you know, many years later now he was trying to become a police officer. And, and I think that, you know, I, I think that the council didn't take a hard enough look at it to to say, you know, hey, this is, you know, a long time ago because, you know, the, particularly that he wants to become a police officer, you think of the, the future political ramifications. What happens 20 years down the line when he, you know, ha Are you well, doing? Like many police officers, yeah, you that's know. A, that's, a, that's a liberty minefield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, want, exactly. you want records expunged generally, but you don't want more people being able to be police officers if you're a, if you're a pure liberty guy like me. So, so, yeah. so I mean, that's that's kind of a problem. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that's, that's yeah. kind of where I'm in. And, I appreciate and it's the, tough to... Yeah.
blanket statement. Yeah, that's true. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com